go through how you can use the sheet ai functions in the sidebar what do i mean by that well all the sheet ai functions which you use over here can be used from the sidebar now first of all i would like to talk about why i added it how it helps and how and like why you can use this so basically uh, the first thing is about why why do we need this we, we have the functions so one problem which a uh, few of the customers have faced is about the timeout what is timeout whenever whatever the query you have provided to sheet a function if it takes more than 30 seconds to execute in that case that will time out and it will show you the error it will not continue executing so what i'm doing is i'm putting all these function to the sidebar because this is limitation by google for the google sheet that the custom function can only execute for 30 seconds but if i do something from the sidebar that can be executed for up to six minutes so that's literally 12 times um, the amount of like so basically if you provide a longer prompt and you're expecting a longer response the side sidebar functions are very helpful for that okay so let's see how it works um, we have all these different functions to choose from of course by default we have chat gpt api which is the 90 percent 90 percent cheaper than the previous alternative and good responses so let's just see how we can do that so for example if i ask it uh, something similar to this one okay write a tagline so i will say write tagline for a company uh, which creates with make make red shirts only red shirts and t-shirts t-shirts only and uh, this basically if you want to provide a target cell you can provide but by default it will take that active cell so i don't have to provide that and just click on run and if i give it a second it should generate that most probably faster so you can see boldly stand out in red and with our exclusive collection now if i just go to the sheet ai list and say write four taglines and just select this particular one and click on run it will generate four different taglines for the same uh, query bold vibrant always in red unleash your inner confidence with our red collection now let's say i want more creativity so basically if you increase the temperature it gets more creative and good in that way so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to click on run again I'm going to make some changes probably so you can see uh, re redefine your wardrobe with our exclusive red shirt tees unleash be bold be red be our premium so basically these are different options available okay moving on now we will be using the table function so i want to create something like this what i did like top tech 10 tech companies so create a table for top 10 tech companies uh companies um with their origin origin date uh founder name and um their products this short description and short description of what they make their products i will keep it creative maximum length thousand you can increase this by default the cache is turned on um, this is just so that you have you know saved that um, so that you can go through it later on if you like but yeah basically we are requesting for top 10 tech companies with their origin date founder name short description of their product So as you can see, um, it has generated that. And if I scroll it like this, you can see. So the first we have Apple, Steve Jobs, and it also gave the uh, other co-founders as well. And it gave the product description, design and manufacture, consumer electronics, cover online services, electric cars, Tesla. So all these things, right? So I hope you find the sheet AI functions using in the sidebar helpful. And if you do, please make sure to comment. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you very much.